You know, Carla, I was waiting for somebody to tell me. I kept seeing this weird thing at the bottom and I was like, is that on mute or does that mean touch that and then it'll go on mute? I don't know. That's, I think that's the second time that's happened recently. I don't know why. I must be pushing something with my thumb. Okay, now you guys can hear me, right? Um, let's see, yeah. <laughs> you just never know what's gonna happen. Thank you, Carla. Okay, so fruitful blessings this week. The reason I loved this bundle at first sight is because of the corn dye. I mean, have we ever had a corn dye? Did you know you needed a corn dye? Yes, you do. Indian corn is a great fall decoration. Perfect. So we're going to make Indian corn today. We're going to use the pears and the flowers as well. Um, make sure you guys jump over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. Let me know if the post is not up. It should be up and scheduled. Um, Kate, hopefully you can hear now. It seems to be fixed. I can see now the little like you know, it gives you like a little green bar that bounces around. Okay, Judy says she can hear. Okay, good. So if you can hear, leave, close out, come back. Of course, you can't hear me say that. <laughs> Technology. Can't live with it. Can't live without it. Um, Susie, I'm so glad you like this bundle. Um, I, will th I will tell you in the beginning, I was a little like, you know, like... Um, overwhelmed. I don't know. Like uh, it took me a while to get going with it, but I love what, what I ended up with it. So I hope you guys do too. All right. I'm going to flip you guys around. I have a lot to tell you and today's projects um, are a little bit long. Good. Post is up. Thank you guys. All right. So I'm going to flip you around. The good news is there were no more snakes this week. I have, I'm still looking for snakes everywhere I go. Every step I make, go into the garage. I don't even put my foot out until I look out there. I'm just paranoid. I, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to ever get beyond it. The, the copperhead. The copperhead visitor. Okay, so, oh, holy night class to go. This is a fun folds class. And the deadline for this is Tuesday. Um, I have actually already cut and sorted these. Now, I have a number in mind of what I think the class will go to if it goes over I will cut more um, but that means that they are going to be shipped earlier I had said November 3rd well they're ready to go except for the ribbon I gotta order the ribbon um, and the bundles of course if you order the bundles um, they're ready to go well I will take that back I if you ordered early on I have already gotten that stuff you know you have to order in chunks these days like I can't just order it all at once I order about once a week Anyhow, they're going to ship early. That's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So it's not going to be November 3rd. It's going to be late next week. Hopefully they'll go out. Um, so almost a week early. But the class includes six fun folds. Um, you're going to get a half pack of paper, a quarter pack of paper, some gold foil, some ribbon, some sequins, and six projects. All right. You're going to need the, um, what's it called? Stars at night. Gosh, I can't even pull it up. Stars at night. One of these is on back order right now. It's coming in soon. Stars at night and what's the other one called? Um, I am distracted. Night divine. Stars at night and night divine. You're going to need both of those bundles to make this um, these six cards. Um, but they're going to go out next week. You deadline Hard deadline Tuesday. If you want this class to go, please email me and send... Uh, Email me asking to send the registration link. I've got snake on the brain now, you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm distracted by snake. Oh, okay, so that's the last time I'll tell you about that class, okay? Because the deadline will have passed next week. Club Create this month features Marius Trees, a very cute bundle, four cards and a treat box. It includes about $20 in product. Um, the deadline for, this is November's Club Create. The deadline for November's Club is November 7th, so you have some time to subscribe. Um, this month's Club Create, I, if you're in Club Create for August, for um, August, hello, Ugh, let's not go back to August. For October, um, the Autumn Leaves kits are ready to go. They're just waiting for the ribbon, and the ribbon is supposed to be back in stock next week. So next week, I'm going to overnight them and get your kits to you in the mail. I sent you guys an email about that yesterday. Hopefully you got it. But this is for November. If you're already a subscriber, you don't need to do anything. 
But if you are looking for a Christmas kit, this is uh, for November. And um, it is $45, including shipping, including PDF, including video, including five projects, and about $20 in product. Um, if you are, if you want to subscribe, if you're not a subscriber yet, there is a tab at the top of my blog that says Club Create. Click that and there is a subscription link there, okay? It's also on today's PDF and at the bottom of today's blog post. Okay, let me put that over here. Um, retreat to go. I've still got quite a few spaces for retreat to go. It's nine projects this year. I just ordered... Well, I don't want to give away the surprises. I just ordered, well, you guys know, you're going to get a bag. I mean, there's a really cute bag. I received the sample bag today, and I am in love with it. You're going to get a bag full of Christmas products and nine projects. There's going to be some surprises in there as well. Um, this deadline, usually I don't even need a deadline because it fills, and it's, I have a limit of how many I can do, but I still have space. So if you would like to get the retreat to go, it's $130. That includes priority shipping and a medium flat rate box. It's big, it's a lot of stuff. Um, so if you want that link, please email me for that as well. I have sent both of those links out in email already. So if you're on my, I mean, I guess you call it newsletter, if you're on my email list, it, they have been emailed to you a couple of times already, so go back and look for those. Or just email me, and I'll send it to you. Um, I want to remind you the starter kit. We've got about a week and a half left for the starter kit special. You can either save 35% off. Let's see, I have it on my other PDF, and so I can tell you the exact price. If you save, although I made it real little, can I read it? Oh, goodness gracious. You know what? I have my glasses today. It's very tiny. I had to fit in those measurements, so I had to make it real tiny. Okay, so two choices for the starter kit, you guys. If you choose to save 35%, the starter kit then is $64.38. You get to choose $125 in product. If you decide you want more product, you get 35% more, which means you get $168.75 in product of your choice for just $99. And both of those options ship free, you get free shipping, and both of those options means you get free online registration for our online demonstrator event in November where you get to see the new spring and celebration catalog. So, really big deal, this is for our 35th anniversary, and uh, I, I, I tend to say this is one of the best starter kit deals we've ever had. So. Occasionally I get emails asking about starter kit deals. This is the one you wanna take advantage of, for sure. Okay, last but not least, Paper Pumpkin arrived this week. If you are a subscriber, you probably got yours too. I have a couple extras. Um, every month there's somebody whose credit card de was declined or canceled or whatever, and they didn't end up getting their uh, Christmas kits or their, why can't I speak today? They are paper pumpkin kits and they are very sad. So I always get a few extras just in case if that's you and you need one, please email me, okay? This is, it's really cute this, um, this month. Also, if you're a paper pumpkin subscriber, hold on, let me get it out of the stack. There's an add-on and I always forget to order the add-ons, but this month I did not. Look, here's the add-on. These card bases, these beautiful card bases. They're like five by seven, they're big. And cards, so you can make even more um, Christmas cards. Really cute stamp set, and you get a real red block and um, glitter, what do we call this? Enamel effects, glitter enamel effects. All right, so if you need a paper pumpkin, if yours didn't go through or something happened, just email me, I have, I have just a couple extra. Okay, that is it, that is it. I just wanted to fly through that today so that we could get to the good stuff. Hold on just one sec, let me move everything out of the way. I haven't been looking at, at um, comments. Um, deadline for the retreat, um, Elizabeth, is probably when it fills, okay? So usually it fills before the deadline, but the deadline will probably be, um, I don't know, I have to, I have to look like November 7th, something like that, if it if it doesn't fill. Um, it, they've filled, I've sold out every year for the last, I don't know, four years or so. 
Okay, so Facebook Friday is today. We are using the Fruitful Blessings bundle. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, welcome, we're glad you're here. I choose one product usually, and I make um, three projects, and that's what we're gonna do today. Um, also, if you like the projects, you can get them for free over on my blog, or by putting in an online order, what is what is with my brain today? I am all over the place. It's the glasses. Now they're distracting me. It was a snake and now it's the glasses. Um, okay, focus. If you put in an online order between now and Monday at midnight, I will send you today's projects for free as a thank you. They look like this. They come with everything you need except for stamps, okay? I don't do any stamping. That's against Stampin' Up! policy. So you will either need the stamp well, the bundle, really. You need the bundle because you're gonna need to cut your corn. <laughs> um, but you can also use, if you don't have this bundle and you didn't want it, but you like the projects, you can substitute something else that you have, okay? So to get them for free, you uh, have to put in an order online at stampinup.com, minimum $35 and using this host code. Deadline, Monday at midnight, I cut them on Tuesday ship them on Wednesday. And what I've been doing lately is actually cutting them on Monday afternoon and shipping them on Tuesday a little bit early. So sometimes I get to do that. I don't know if I'll be able to do that next week. My daughter is having an endoscopy, you guys. She's got, um, she has had heartburn for years, like old man heartburn, <laughs> like really bad for a young person. So they're doing an endoscopy on Monday. So I will not be in on Monday. Fingers crossed. My husband's out of town. I'm very nervous about it, but I'm sure it'll be all right. She's she's like, whatever, I'm fine. I'm, I'm a little more nervous about it. But anyways, I will cut these Tuesday, get them out on Wednesday, okay? All right, the last part of Facebook Friday is I always have a prize, and um, you can be entered to win the prize if you share the video. You just have to comment, share, either on YouTube or on Facebook. And our winner for last week is Jill Hewitt. Jill, congratulations. You won the Above It All bundle. Please email me and let me know your mailing address so I can get it to you. Um, this week, I've got a rocking horse bundle, this cute little horse. I love the way it's drawn. And I haven't played with this. I'm, I need to play with this. It's very cute. Okay, so if you'd like to win, just share the video on Facebook. Yeah, moms are all worried. My husband, um, <laughs> he has a fishing tournament out of town and that he can't get out of because he paid for it for his company, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'd really, I'm really nervous about it. I'd like for you to be there. And he's like, ah, you'll be all right. I guess, okay, all right. I can do hard things, I guess. Um, PDF, you guys, is over on the um, blog today, too. You can print it. It's free, has the measurements, supply list, and on the second page has all the links of the things that I just showed you, okay? Okay, let me grab my first tray. This first card has quite a few steps. We're gonna do all kinds of things today. We're gonna watercolor. We're going to use Stampin' Blends, and we are gonna use um, enamel effects. I forget that we have enamel effects, and um, I gave away a set of enamel effects as a prize at my team meeting recently, and I was like, I'm gonna pull mine out and, and remember to use it. So I've had it, and I've actually been using it quite a bit. So we're gonna use the enamel effects. These two are from the metallic. They come in a three pack. There's two different kinds. And this is the gold and the copper. Um, also, these little guys, I thought that these were retired, but they're still available online. I guess they're an online exclusive. So we're gonna use those too. Um, I happened to see them on a sample from the home office and I was like, aren't those retired? And I looked and there they were online. I don't know what happened to mine, but I ordered some new ones because I like them. They're called textural effects, something like that. Let me look at the name. Yeah, te no, textural elements. Okay, so here we go. I've done one in pumpkin pie and one in calypso coral. All right, the first thing we need to do is to paint our background. And I've got just a piece of watercolor paper and we're gonna use pool party and just do a pool party wash. Mary, it's cool and rainy today where you are in Indianapolis. Well, summer has returned here in South Texas. 
and I would be mad about it except that our pool is done. And so I'm thinking, all right, fine, summer. We'll pretend like it's summer and we'll swim in our new pool. Uh, next week, it's supposed to be rainy and yucky here too. And not cool, unfortunately, but like hot and muggy and yucky. Ah, I know. I would like cool and rainy, not muggy and rainy. All right, so I'm just doing just, you know, a, a light watercolor wash. I squeezed the ink into the inside of my um, ink pad right there and just added some water to it, made it pretty light, and we're going to set that aside to dry. All right, now the next part, we're going to do Stampin' Blends, which we love. And let's see if I can scoot these over. Let me move this over here so you can see all the colors. I pulled out all the fall colors that I thought would go. I have them just sitting here. Let's see if I can move them over enough that you guys can see them. Um, we're not gonna use all of these, but these were the colors that I thought would go really well. Okay, good, you guys can see them now. Um, with this set. So I've got, from the top to the bottom, I've got Pecan Pie, Copper Clay, um, Cajun Craze, Calypso Coral, Pumpkin Pie, Daffodil Delight, Moody Mauve, which is a color I have not used yet. We're going to use that one for sure. Moody Mauve, Blackberry Bliss, Old Olive, and then I've got my Color Lifter. So, you know, you don't have to use the colors that I use. Use whatever you want. Pull out, you know, pull out your your blends and use whatever you want. Let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit. Um, this image takes a little bit of time to color. I'm gonna pull my chair over. And I, I wanted fall colors because it's, you know, fall, but I think that it would be really good in the spring and summer too, this flower image. Okay, hold on. I'm fighting my iPad. Hold on just a second. Okay. So let's start with that big flower. And I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do pumpkin pie again this time. And I have my glasses on. You're gonna need your glasses for this because these petals are pretty small. So I'm just gonna start out with um, light pumpkin pie. And I'm gonna color each of these petals using the bullet end of my stamp and blend. I stamped the image in Memento Black. Um, you wanna use a non-alcohol ink pad when you use your alcohol markers, okay? You gotta use the opposite. So that's why we always choose Memento. So you guys, while I'm coloring, tell me what you're watching on TV, tell me what you're reading, and I'll tell you, um, I, what did I just finish? The book called Black Cake. There's a Hulu series coming out. Um, not my favorite. I, it has a lot of stars on Goodreads and I don't know why I wasn't a huge fan of it. All right, I'm taking um, pumpkin pie and I'm flicking that color out. Wherever those little lines are, the artist has drawn the little lines for us. So we kind of know where we want to put darker on the inside, lighter on the outside. And wherever the petals are overlapping to, you want to add in some dark. Um, what have we been watching? Okay, well, we've been watching the Astros, Ghost Rose World Series. You guys know we're big Astros fans here. Um, when the Astros are not playing, we are watching, well, Loki on Disney+, Plus, which is just really weird. And I don't fully understand what the heck is happening. But also, we've started Lessons in Chemistry, which I told you guys I read the book. It's one of my favorite books that I've read this year, Lessons in Chemistry. The show did not, does, is not really following the book. I mean, similar but not exact, which I am not a fan of that. Um, okay, changing gears. Moody Mauve. Um, I used Blackberry Bliss cardstock, but the Blackberry Bliss Stampin' Blend is very dark. So I thought, let's try Moody Mauve, and we're going to use Moody Mauve Light, um, and it's actually pretty darn dark, too. Um, who said they read Black Cake? 
Um, I just saw that go by and I can't see it now. Why don't I see it now? I thought I saw somebody. Oh, Susie, what did you think? Oh, you just started it. Okay. The first half I really liked. The things in the past. I liked that part of the story. I felt like the things in the current time, well, I won't say it. I'll let you decide for yourself. Um, let me see what else you guys. The Goosebumps, Heather, it was a good. I sent that to my daughter. I think she would really like it. She's like my youngest. It used to be the world's biggest chicken, and now she thinks she's brave, so she's, she's watching all of these um, things like uh, you know, like Stranger Things and, um, you know, things not, not terribly scary things, but I thought Goosebumps would be a good one. It looks kind of scary, actually. Um, I want to watch that. All right, Daffodil Delight, light for this other large flower. And I'm just going to color in that middle like that. And I'm going to take the dark, and I'm going to do the dark here on this. It kind of has this pattern where the tips of the, the petals are different. So I'm going to do them like that and then just draw out some of that dark from the center. Now you guys, I have an individual recording of this project on YouTube where it's edited and probably easier to watch. All right, because it's zoomed in. I'm going to do Daffodil Delight centers and I'm also going to do this. Now I didn't show you the inside of the card. This is going on the inside. Um, I, my next book, I have several things on hold at the library, on my library app, and I can't decide which, I've, I've you know, like if you have the library app and the, the book comes available, you can say, not now, send it in a week, send it in two weeks. Well, I've done that with all my books, and so now I have nothing, and I'm like, ah, okay, bring me one of those books, library robot. Um, so... There's one that was really interesting to me called The Only One Left. I think that's what it was. So I think if I can get that, I'm going to I'm going to do that one next. Also, have you guys, those of you that are readers, a, a Court of Thorn and Roses, is that what it's called? I hear a lot of people talking about that series. I have that in my in my uh, queue also, but I'm not sure about that one. All right, I'm doing light old olive on the leaves and the big leaf as well. TV kind of stinks right now. There's nothing new. I kind of got sucked into the masked singer the other night. Have, do, have any of you watched that? It is really kind of interesting. <laughs> it is the dumbest concept, but it's really kind of, I don't know, kind of sucks you in. It didn't stay on, the Astros were playing, so I had to change it, but I kind of like, I need to Google and find out who, who's behind the, the eagle, the eagle mask. I need to know. All right, I'm taking my dark and doing half of these little leaves like that, and then we'll add a little bit of dark in here like this. Go back. Um, enamel effects in the current catalog, yes. Yes, they are. They are are i believe now i'm saying it they are they're not online exclusive are they guys they're in the catalog things are hard to find in the catalog um the personal library librarian christy that sounds good okay i'm gonna add that to my list goosebumps is really good set up for second season oh good i like that lupin is good bosch legacy fraser oh frailer just started i haven't heard of that um uh, oh fraser Frasier is like the new, right? Like they brought back Frasier, the old Frasier. Okay, so there's these little dots right here and I'm gonna color them copper clay, okay? Now, take your copper enamel effects and do a little boop right on top of each of those. And you wanna just pull it right up like that, kind of, because it kind of creates a little Hershey Kiss shape. Um, and then I took the gold and I did the center of those flowers as well. Now you're gonna have to give this some time to dry. And I mean like 30 minutes probably. Okay, I've already got one done, so don't worry, don't panic. Now on our textural element, I'm also going to add 
copper to each one. All right. And it does take a while. Now, here's my recommendation to you. Take your stuff right here and don't set it on the side of your desk. Set it on the other side of the room, you guys. Okay, I'm telling you, trust me. Every time I do enamel effects and I just set it to the side, you know what happens. You guys know, you set something right on top of it every stinking time. <sighs> so trust me, put it away in the window seal, on another table, somewhere else, okay? Okay, so now here it is. Can you guys see the, the, little, the little bumps? Let me see if I turn it that way. It's fun. And you know, um, I'm gonna show you in a minute. We're gonna use it to make just some little embellishments too. Okay, so I have cut out a, let's see, what kind of, what kind of, I was going to cut up my, oh yeah, here, I have a tiny bit of foam adhesive foam adhesive sheet. I'm going to cut some real skinny strips. Um, I have cut out a Blackberry Bliss frame using the radiating stitches dies. Okay. And we're going to mount it kind of like you would if it was a shaker, except it's not a shaker. I mean, the only thing like a shaker is that it, it's a frame, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I always think about it when I'm putting adhesive on the back. No, I don't need to seal it in. Nothing's going to be shaking around. All right, put that right there. And now I'm going to take our centerpiece and I'm just going to put two dimensionals kind of towards the bottom. Um, and I'm actually going to stack them. I want it to be a little bit taller than our frame. So I'm going to take two sets of two, but put them kind of low because we're gonna tuck some things in behind it, okay? And then get that situated like that. Now, you're gonna want to cut out using, this is in our, our dies with a corn, um, some old olive and some mossy meadow leaves, all right? And I'm gonna just put a couple of dots and see how we're gonna stick that behind. That's why you needed to stick those dimensionals down here. And we'll stick this one up like this. And then I'm gonna take my textural element, a little bit of liquid glue, tuck that down. Oh, these guys are wiggling around because the glue is not set. That's all right, that helps us rearrange like that. Let's see, do I have another? I like the mossy meadow, the dark. So I'm gonna take the mossy meadow, another one, and tuck it. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut it a little bit shorter. Let's cut it. Cut it and tuck it. Cut it and tuck it right there, okay? All right, so now, it's very pretty, if I do say so myself. Now, Let's put it on our card, on our Blackberry Bliss card base. I love Blackberry Bliss for fall. It's such a dark and rich color. It's really nice. All right, we're just gonna put two giant dimensionals. This is the foam adhesive sheet. They come, I think they're about six by six, and then you just cut them down as you need them. And we'll put that right there. Okay, so now I didn't show you the inside. Let me show you the inside. This paper is from our All About Autumn Designer Series paper that is supposed to be back in stock next week. So if you're waiting for it, I was able to snag it last time it came back in stock for all my Club Create members. Um, but now... If you don't have it, it's coming, it's coming. Check on Monday about, I would say, I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't come in on Monday, but a lot of times it usually does come in on Monday. So about, you know, like 10 o'clock in the morning and then check again, 11 o'clock, if you're waiting for it. Grateful for you, we're gonna stamp right there in Blackberry Bliss. 
And we're gonna take this little guy right here, put one dimensional, yes, I use dimensionals on the inside of my card as well, like that. And last but not least, I told you we're gonna use these and make little like pearls. So you can just, you know, add a few here and there. Like that. All right, oh, that one seems too little. There you go. All right. There you go, card number one. Now I'm gonna have to set it across the room so that I don't smash my embellishments. What do you guys think? This stuff I have become a little bit of addicted to. I really do like it. All right, let's clean up and do card number two. Card number two, well, no, I do like, I can't tell you which is my favorite this time. I like them all. I like them all. All right, let me move everything out of the way. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. All right, that we're gonna leave there. We're gonna put this here and this and this and this. Okay, next up. Where are my Lost Lagoon fans? Lost Lagoon people. If you are a lover of Lost Lagoon, this card is for you. I don't use Lost Lagoon very often, but I thought, ooh, I think that would be really good with that yellow on there, right? Now, can you see what I've done to the background of the card? We're gonna create our own little textured card base. So, what you're gonna wanna do is cut out a bunch of those leaves. And I think I ended up using about eight of them, okay? So really, you just need about a quarter um, sheet of Lost Lagoon and cut out a bunch of the bigger ones like this and then just a couple of these to fill in. And on my original, I used adhesive sheets, which is what I recommend you guys do. It's a whole lot easier. But for the sake of the video, it took a little bit of, it took a little bit longer um, to peel off that adhesive off of each one. So I was like, you know, I'll just do glue so you guys don't have to sit there for 10 minutes watching me peel off adhesive backing. All right, so now just adhere them kind of hanging off and all of them need to be kind of going different directions. Okay. Aw, oh, thanks, Cindy. I'm glad you like it. It was kind of, that first card was one of those where I was kind of stuck in a rut and I couldn't really like get it to come together. I had colored it and then I didn't know what to do with it. I walked away from it. And then I thought about Blackberry Bliss and I made a frame and then it just came together. So I'm glad you like it. You know, sometimes you guys, when you're having like a creative rut, walk away from a project, just walk away and come back to it another day. And it's funny how it will look totally different to you the next day or three days later or whatever. And then something will pop into your mind like, oh, okay, I know what I wanna do. All right. We'll put that one right there. And then we'll take these little ones I don't know why I have so many dimensional backings in with this. I must have been throwing them in yesterday when I was making my videos. And go easy with your glue because I can already see my glue squishing out. All right, all right, I think that's good. All right, so about eight big ones and two, three, maybe four smaller ones. All right, so let's set that aside to dry. Now, the pears, we're gonna stamp those and color them, but you'll notice that I have put them in a crate. This We, we used this bundle a couple of weeks ago, the Rustic Crate Bundle, and I thought, well, those pears need to be sitting in a little crate like they're at a farmer's market. So I have cut out our Rustic Crate two pieces. If you're looking for Rustic Crate ideas, go back a couple of weeks and you'll see I did a whole bunch of rustic crate projects. 
So we're gonna glue this. It's a little bit tedious here at the beginning. Gotta get all that tucked in. And then once you have it put together, take something heavy like a bowl and set it on there so it will dry and not pop up. Okay, so let's stamp our pears. And I am again gonna use Memento Black on basic white. And this time, let me bring my chair back over. You know, I'm gonna grab a drink just real quick. Oh, Pam, you have this set, good. Thanks, Clippy. I love to do a tone on tone background. It's one of my favorite techniques to do on a card. When you just cut out all the same color, I mean, it, it makes it not busy, but it gives you some real interest in your background. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do on our pears is take my old olive light, and I'm just gonna go around the edges, kind of dot, dot, dotting that on there. Then I'm gonna take my light, daffodil delight, and I'm gonna blend it in with that old olive. And I'm actually using the brush tip of my marker, which you guys know I never use, um, because I really like the way you can just kind of flick the color like this. And I'm gonna go around, leaving that center part pretty light. Now I'm gonna take the dark Daffodil Delight, do the same thing, go under the leaf too, because there will be a shadow there. And then, Again, with the light flicking it towards the center, like that. And then I think I'm gonna take my color lifter and just pull all that color to the middle so that that'll look like a shine mark. Um, and then I'm gonna go back with a little bit more of my old olive around the edge because I wanted my pear to be kind of yellow green. All right, now let's do this one. Same exact way, old olive around the edges. And then we'll take the light and just kind of blend it in, pulling towards the middle. Now we'll add in some dark. Did you guys watch the eclipse where you were? Were you able to see it? I didn't realize the whole country would be able to see it. <laughs> I thought us Texans were just special. It was really cool. It did not get totally dark, which I kind of thought it was going to. I mean, it's an annular, which means it's just a ring of fire around the, the um, you know, the sun. It did not, it got, it, it looked kind of dark inside the house, but outside it didn't look dark. And of course the shadows are the coolest part to look at in the eclipse. It was really fun. Okay, now I'm gonna take my old olive and color in these leaves. My, my hiking daughter, my oldest daughter, she was in Arkansas and she hiked 13 miles the first day and 14 miles the second day. You guys, I mean, goodness. I'm like, why don't you just have a leisurely hike? Why does it have to be so much? <laughs> they had fun though, they had a good time. I guess when you're young, you know, you just gotta, gotta push, push, push. Hey, Patience, there's Patience. Um, you forgot about the eclipse? Patience is the one that made my little cute little treat holder I posted yesterday with the little taco fiesta. I loved it so much. Okay, we are done coloring. Let's, ooh, you guys, I have some adhesive on the bottom of my cut and emboss machine. And every time I pick it up, it sticks. And I just haven't taken the time to stop and clean it up but it's like it's like really strong every time I go to pick it up it like pops it's weird I don't know what what it is one of these days I'll stop and actually clean it up okay we've got our pears now 
we are going to do some fussy cutting. And here's my little, um, my little PSA. If you don't want to fussy cut, don't. Just cut a straight strip, okay? You don't have to fussy cut. I know some of you are like, ugh. But I'm gonna show you the easy way. I've showed you guys this before and I promise that this makes it a lot easier. Take your pencil and go around the words where you wanna cut. Okay, like that. And then take your scissors or your paper snips. Actually, you need paper snips for this kind of fussy cutting. And go around and follow that pencil line. If you make a mistake with your pencil line, you can always erase it. But if you just kind of go for it willy-nilly with your scissors, well, I know I always end up making a mistake and then you can't undo a cut right? You have to start over. But if you get that pencil line and it's perfect, then all you have to do, you don't even have to think, you just follow that pencil line with your paper snips. And actually, I don't like this top part. I'm going to straighten that out. It's a little too bubbly. So let's use our big scissors and cut that straight. There we go. That's better. Okay, we are ready to put this together. I have... Here's our crate, and somewhere on this desk, there are dimensionals right here. I'm gonna take a dimensional and stick it on the back, and I'm gonna tuck these guys down into the crate. And then I am going to, you think a dimensional will fit on here? I think it will. A dimensional will go right there across the bottom. And then I have cut out a, um, what are this, vellum essentials, essential vellum. Let me just look at my supply list and I'll tell you the exact name. Um, vellum basics, where did I come up with essential? <laughs> I guess essential is a synonym for basic, right? Somewhat. Vellum basic specialty paper. And on my original, I used the polka dot, which I we used last week and I completely ran out. So we're gonna use the other, we're gonna use the other pattern. The other pattern resembles what we have done to the background of our card. All right, two more dimensionals. Stick these down like that. Now let's get our card and trim off all of our leaves. And let's see if I can get them all into my little bowl here. And it is sticky, some of them, because they have glue, so if you are using some good scissors, just clean them off with goo gone. It'll be fine. Don't worry. And then snip, 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 snip. And there we go. See how everything is even? Let's see, this one needs a little, a little touch up. There we go. All right, so there is our card, card front. And now two more dimensionals. I know, I can't get enough. I can't get enough of the dimensionals. Put them right there. And last but not least, one of our favorite things about stamping up is the color coordination. So we use Lost Lagoon cardstock and we're gonna use Lost Lagoon ribbon and it's a perfect match. I like this ribbon, it looks kind of like um, denim or something a little distressed, it's got some white in there. It's really pretty. All right, get your bow settled and hopefully you haven't completely ruined your scissors with adhesive. And we'll just take a glue dot and stick it right there and there you go. Now, I don't think that this is necessarily a fall card, right? Couldn't this be an any time of the year card? Lost Lagoon is a very beautiful color, and I don't think we should leave it specifically for fall. All right, there we go. Look, I left a much brighter shine mark than I did over here. These, these pairs are very shiny. <laughs> thanks, Cindy, thanks, Stacy. I appreciate it. Okay, one more project. We are moving right along. My videos yesterday when I recorded these, one of them was like 22 minutes long. 
And I thought, oh my gosh, that is going to take us forever tomorrow. All right. Oh, I just thought I set that on the enamel effects, but that card is on the other side of the, the, the room. Okay, dokie, last but not least. The whole reason I bought this bundle is for the corn, the Indian corn. I couldn't wait to make Indian corn. It's a, it's a full decorating staple, don't you think? And I have made a treat box. Now, two different ribbons, okay? This ribbon right here is the a sneak peek of ribbon that will be an online exclusive next month. It's coming out, I think, the 4th. And I loved it. Um, I didn't have it when I made the original. I used the copper clay ribbon, which is also a great choice. But this is very vanilla with pecan pie stripe down the middle. So I wanted to use that. Okay, let me get all my supplies and then we'll talk about what's inside the box. Today's goodie is from Target. It's their brand, Favorite Day Harvest Trail Mix. Now, if you don't have a Target in your area, Scarecrow Crunch, or you can do Candy Corn Crunch, whichever you like. Um, if you don't have a Target in your area, um, I linked some other ones on Amazon. They're called, I think, Orchard Valley, and they will fit in here too. It's a little trail mix. All right, let's make our box first. Let me grab my Simply Scored. And I'm starting to feel kind of sick to my stomach with these glasses, so I'm gonna take them off. Um, Mary says, they had me a corn. I know. How many of you Iowans were like, we got to have it. We got to have it. I'm not from Iowa and I still had to have it. It's a, it's different. We've never had a corn dye, a corn builder dye, if you will. Okay. The, the box is my new favorite color, copper clay, and it's seven and a fourth by nine and a half. Let's move these over. Um, we're going to score... The long side, let's start with the long side. Come on, there we go. Long side at one inch, four and a fourth, five and a fourth, and eight and a half, okay? Then turn the short side and you're gonna do half an inch, one and a half, and six and a fourth. All right, now remember those measurements are right here on today's PDF, okay? And I do believe they are correct today. <laughs> For once, they are correct. All right, burnish your lines with your bone folder. And this is just a box that has a lid, that has a lip that tucks down into the box. Pretty straightforward box and I mean, you can put anything you want in it, guys. It doesn't have to be the trail mix, but I just made it so that it would fit the trail mix. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, remember um, just a second ago when we scored it, this side, this is a half inch section and a one inch section. So I want you to remember that side because I'm gonna refer to it. On that side, down here, we're gonna cut off these four, okay? These two rectangles and the two squares. Well, actually it's three rectangles. Three rectangles and a, and a square. All right, so just completely cut those off. Now, we're gonna cut this rectangle off right here. And when we do, we're actually gonna cut this in, go all the way in like that, so you have a flap. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing over here, cut all the way in, and then cut that little rectangle off. Now, cut this, these, this tab at an angle. Okay, so let me set it down so far so you can see that this is what it looks like. Remember the half inch and the one inch section. Okay, now we're gonna cut this corner completely off. So cut that. And then you just wanna snip the rest of them. Snip, snip and snip, okay? So here's what your finished piece will look like. If you watch the replay and you wanna pause, that's what it looks like. We're gonna cut the corners too off of this one. Let's do that. Corner and 
corner. All right, now that's what your final piece looks like, okay? I don't know why Facebook can't fix the glitch where I have to touch it every time for the, the things to pop up. Carla says, the corn's the only reason I got these dies. <laughs> you didn't get the stamps? Well, the stamps are beautiful, but yes, the, the corn dies really good. Suddenly I'm very thirsty. Okay, let's take some tear and tape. And we're gonna put some tear and tape right here. And we will peel that backing off. like that. And then if you fold your box in half and fold that over, it's a perfect match. All right, down here, we're gonna fold in the sides, fold in the back, and leave the front flap for last. Okay, and put your tear and tape on there and fold it up like that. All right, so now all you do is close in those side tabs and fold in the lid. Really easy, pretty straightforward. Okay, the paper now, the paper is the Oh Holy Night paper, the nativity paper. I love the patterns on the back side. So we're using this one. They are very fallish, if you ask me. Okay, all right, now let's put our scarecrow crunch inside like that all right so now there's our box now let's make our corn and i need some grid paper oh here's yesterday's grid paper let me grab that we're gonna we're gonna recycle grid paper today all right now here are the colors that i went with i actually googled indian corn trying to figure out exactly what colors i wanted to use this first one um I cut out the top, and I think I may have done the opposite on my original. It doesn't really matter. Um, this is pecan pie, and this is Cajun craze. And look, I did put an adhesive sheet on the back. You definitely want to put an adhesive sheet on the back. Actually, did I say Cajun craze? I meant copper clay, right? No, 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 I take that back. Okay, I lied. The back is copper clay. The front is Cajun craze. Any of those would work, honestly. All right, now this one, Cherry Cobbler, and the top is Blackberry Bliss. Let me peel off the backing. Hopefully all those little doodads will come out with the backing. And they did not. How come the other ones came out so easy and these did not? Hmm. Oh, goodness. Okay, it's gonna be difficult. So I'm gonna have to poke each one of them out. I should have used my dye brush, I know, but I didn't. I was being lazy. And now I'm gonna be covered in these all day. Okay, Cherry Cobbler and Blackberry Bliss. This one I know for sure I did opposite on my original, but still, no problem. All right, now this one we're gonna take, <laughs> I gotta get these off, they drive me crazy. Um, this one is crushed curry. You guys, just hold, please. I can't. I can't function with this little doodad stuck to me. One more. One more. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see if we can get these out first. Um, crushed curry on crushed curry. Okay. So the same color, top and bottom. All right, we're gonna stick that right on there. Now we're gonna do a couple of things here. Let's bring back over our Cajun Craze one. And I'm gonna take Cajun Craze Dark and I'm gonna color in some of the kernels. Okay, just, you know, how the corn looks. It has different colors. And do it at random, just, you know, a few here, a few there, maybe that one too, okay? Now, the lighting isn't very good today. I don't know why, hopefully you guys can see that. Let me pull it up, there we go. See how it looks different? All right, this one we're just gonna leave. 
But this one, we're gonna flick color on it. See, look at what it looks like. I think it looks really cool. So we're just gonna flick some color on it. So make sure all your good stuff is out of the way and take your Cajun craze or your copper clay or both and flick your color on there. Let's see, I will use copper clay. It's a little more brown like that. Maybe I'll do some pecan pie too. All right, there we go. And there is our Indian corn. All right, before we put it together, I have cut out also three crumb cake tops. What are they, the husks? And we're going to use crumb cake and a small blending brush. And we're gonna make these a little dirty, okay? They're just a little too clean like that. So add your crumb cake all over. It's gonna bring out the embossed. These dies have an embossed texture on them as well. It gives the, um, the, the little husk some texture. So using putting ink on it will make it stand out even more. All right, now let's get rid of this dirty mess and put all of our corn on our tag. Here is our tag. This is from the, let me look, I can't remember, designer tags dies which also I thought had retired. Apparently they did not. Okay, here we're gonna put this one pointing to the right, to the left. <laughs> this one pointing to the right, like that. And we'll put the yellow corn in the middle. Now you could turn this into a card, okay? If you don't want to make a treat box, totally just do the same thing. <laughs> Donna, I need this bundle now. I told you, I told you guys, I'm going to make you want it. The corn itself is a big seller. It's a big seller. All right, so now let's put our husks, our corn tops, a tassel. I don't know. I don't know. You Iowa people are going to be all over me. You don't know what it's called. You're calling it the wrong thing. Whatever the tops like that <laughs> fun all right now last but not least we got to do our little tag this is the smallest um nested essential banner very vanilla stamp it in um stamp it in copper clay uh, I love it when I hear you guys say that. I didn't think I wanted this. I didn't even notice it. I'm doing my job right. Sometimes, some the some okay, the samples in the catalog are always amazing, but sometimes I feel like the samples don't necessarily sell it, give it, do it the justice it needs, right? So sometimes if you see somebody else do something completely different and you think differently than what the catalog, because I know my brain really sticks with whatever the catalog tells me like especially in a suite then i have i like stick to those colors you know whatever's in the paper that those are the colors i have to use with that stamp set and then i'll see somebody else has done something completely different in different colors and it looks totally different okay we're going to take this new ribbon that i told you guys about online exclusive it'll be available November 4th. Is it 4th, you guys? I think it's the 4th. Somebody correct me. All right, I'm going to pull it through the bottom and thread it through the top. Like that. And then let's get some dimensionals so that it'll stay in place. And we'll put that right in the middle like that. And then we'll tie a bow at the top and we are done. So this is a good fall November treat. You guys know I'm always thinking about teacher treats. This would be a good little fall treat. Something before we jump into Christmas, which by the way, next week we will be jumping into Christmas 
Can't remember the stamp set. It's the one with the giraffe. What's it called? I can't remember. That's what we'll be doing next week. Okay, there you go. How fun. Indian corn. Who knew? Who knew you needed a dye to make Indian corn? You do. Okay, now wait. I've got a couple of extra cards to show you. Um, this is a swap, and I don't know whose it is. It had no name on it, but they use that that same all about autumn paper. There's a little acorn, really pretty coloring. Um, this one also is from, I don't know. It's like a bunch of QR codes. Let me see if it says on the other side. This is a swap that I got from Janet. And it's, look at this, oh, hello. This is going in my fun folds my fun folds bucket look wow that's really cool all right so there's that and again not fall at all right it's springy so really really cool thinking outside of the box and then here's your typical fall card this is the one i made this will be on the blog on monday had to use those little acorns again that all about autumn paper hopefully we'll be back on Monday. Oh, thanks, Patricia. I'm glad you guys like them. Um, um, you know, asking about why they don't have blends for crushed curry. I don't know. Um, when blends first came out, um, they weren't in every color. So saffron went really well with crushed curry, but then so saffron retired. I don't know. I guess, I don't know the answer to that. I guess they just um, don't feel the need. Maybe crushed curry isn't popular enough. You know, like we probably wouldn't buy, I don't know. We probably wouldn't buy it. And so they think, eh, let's not make it. I don't know. I'll ask next time why we don't. Cause there's a few other colors like um, early espresso, right? And what are some other ones that don't have um, Stampin' Blends? There are a few, there's like a handful. I don't know, I don't know the answer. Okay, you guys, here are our three Fruitful Blessing projects. I hope you enjoyed them today. Let's see if I can zoom out. Um, it was fun today, we got done right on time. I'm glad you guys joined me next week. What's the stamp set with the giraffe? I don't know the name of it. I can't remember, but I do have the projects designed and they're very cute. So make sure you come next week ready to make some Christmas projects. And you guys have a great week. I um, Let me know if you have questions and I'll see you next Friday. Thanks everybody. Bye.